Hi, darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Libras. And this is just a little weekend check-in for the 17th and 18th of June. I will be using my Affirmator's Tarot deck. And to clarify, I'll be using the classic the classic tarot. <laughs> so Libra, let's see what messages we have for you. So Libra, this is for you. And if you hear anybody snoring, that's Benjamin, okay? The Ace of Swords. Mental clarity. The Eight of Pentacles. You're working very hard on something that's going to bring you some financial gain. The Emperor. This is a father figure-like person in your environment, not necessarily romantic. They're older than you are. They're stable. You might go to them for advice or something. And I see the Three of Swords here. There's some kind of sadness hanging over you. Um, the Hierophant. It seems like somebody wants to set, lay the law down upon you. And you're trying to be the best person you can be. And it might have to do with a committed relationship, a marriage or some contract or something. You need to start using your um, intuition. Okay, this is the high priestess. You need to pay attention to your dreams. Your dreams are telling you things. You need to listen to them. Listen to your intuition. The Ten of Swords. A very painful ending. A very painful ending. However, the Six of Swords. Whatever ended moved you to calmer waters which is good. And the five of pentacles. You may feel like there's, uh, you might have lost some money, finance, you know, some financial, some money, fi you might have lost some finances, but it's just temporary, okay? This is just a temporary, this is a mindset of lack. It's not as bad as you think, all right? All right, Libra. A pain in your, your side, a thorn in your side. You feel like you don't have, but you need to look around and see all that you do have. Okay. Maybe someone makes you feel that way. Maybe it's not about money. Okay, so let's see. Clarity, the Ace of Swords here. The Five of Cups. You're going to accept the loss. There's some kind of sorrow around you. Then you decided to move on. And you decided that you, you want to find peace. Then there's the Queen of Cups. Now this could be an energy in your environment. This could be a Pisces, a Scorpio, or Cancer within your environment. They're very calm, comforting um, energy around you, very nurturing and healing. <clears throat> if not, you're feeling very sensitive at the moment. Then I got the Three of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles is about teamwork, collaboration. Uh, so I'd like to say the universe is building something for you, and when the universe has a hand in it, there's nothing we can do about it. You know, so you just trust the universe, trust yourself. Okay, so you got the Five of Cups, you got the Queen of Cups, 
And you got the Three of Pentacles here. So there's something being built for you here with finances. Then you got the Eight of Pentacles over here. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles. On top of the Eight of Pentacles comes the Three of Wands and the King of Swords. <laughs> Excuse me. This comes the Two of Wands and the King of Swords on top of the Eight of Pentacles. You're making some kind of plan, making progress, and you got some decisions to make. You got two paths, okay? You can choose either one. And then there's this, this air energy in your environment. Now, this could be you, Libra, or this could be a Gemini or an Aquarius. This is the King of Swords. And the Ace of Pentacles. You're manifesting money. Or some new financial opportunity is upon you. This could be a promotion at work as well, okay? This could be maybe the job you went, you applied for. Maybe you're going to get it. But there's abundance on the way. There's some kind of new opportunity. If you're doing, if you're a business, this maybe it's a new opportunity you're working on. But some finances are going to come in. And I don't know if it has anything to do with the King of Swords here. Maybe you're communicating to someone about your finances. But you have two paths, okay? You got two choice. You got a choice. The two of wands, the king of swords, and the ace of pentacles. Then you have the emperor here. This person that listens to you. Or someone that you talk to. So let's see the emperor. On top of the emperor comes the emperor. This person is a very good friend. They're a very good friend. Someone you can really lean on, someone you can trust. And then the hermit, you've gone within, you've accomplished something and you've realized you're above your challenges. And you're going to stand your ground. So the emperor, the hermit and the seven of wands above the emperor. You're going to stand up for what you believe in. You might break your heart because the three of swords is here. You're going to have to use your intuition. And you're going to have to learn moderation. And then you're going to have a towel moment. You have knowledge. You already know deep within you. You know deep within you already. I got, I got the high priestess. And you need to keep some secrets to yourself. You don't need to tell everyone everything you know. Keep some things to yourself. Or speak to just that one person that you can talk to. So you got the high priestess, you need to start, you need to learn balance. You got something is out of balance for you. Um, you need to find moderation and you need patience. And you will experience a um, towel moment. And that's probably why the sadness there, the three of swords. Um, the towel moment is sudden chaos and confusion. But sometimes in life, things have to be built, broken down in order to be built back stronger. Okay. And the thing about it is just try not to sink down. When the chaos and confusion starts or whatever, whatever it is, try not to sink down there. Keep yourself up. It's going to be a struggle, but you can bring yourself back up. I'm not saying not to go through no emotion or anything like that, but don't stay in that negative emotion, okay? And it might have to do with a marriage or a contract or something. Someone want to lay down the law for you. I guess tell you what to do, when to do it, how to do it. You know. So let's see. The Hierophant. <clears throat> and then, of course, whatever this towel moment is going to happen, if it has to do with this commitment or contract or marriage... It's going to give you, it's going to put you in your head. You're going to have sleepless nights. You're going to have anxiety, worry, and fear. Again, this is here. 
Okay, you're gonna need to get out of your head. You're gonna have to figure something out. It's only temporary. This is the five of pentacles. You got the five of pentacles down here as well. That's the nine of swords. This is the anxiety and the worry. So whatever is gonna happen in this town moment is really gonna throw you for a loop, okay? And there's gonna be conflict. You got the five of wands. Okay, you got the five of wands there. But remember, you don't have to be part of that conflict. You can always choose to walk away. And you need to start paying attention to your dreams. I said that just now. and then <laughs> You need to start um, listening to your intuition. That voice inside, the one that says go right and you go left, you need to go right when it says go right. You got the moon, the hangman, and the seven of um, swords. So the moon says, be careful, your imagination doesn't cause you to see things that aren't there. Be careful, your imagination doesn't cause you to see things that aren't there. Don't let your imagination get the best of you, okay? You are in your head. You're going to be in your head with this towel moment. You're going to need to find some balance. You're going to... Listen to your intuition and you will find clarity, okay? You got the hangman here. You're going to be at a standstill for a little while. But you're going to have a new perspective. And you're going to accept. You're going to, you're going to learn acceptance. And you're also going to feel some type of betrayal. Or this could be from the past. Because you're looking back, it could be that you're expecting some type of betrayal. Use your intuition, okay? Don't tell everyone all your secrets. Keep things to yourself, okay? Just have that one person or someone that you can just be yourself with and tell. But I do see a painful ending here. And on top of that is the devil. And the eight of... The eight of swords. And the queen of pentacles. Hmm. I don't know what that means. So there's definitely going to be an ending, okay? It's going to probably make you very sad. You got the three of them. Um, it's, it's the tower, endings, new beginnings. You're going to have to do some shadow work. You're going to need to go within yourself. You're going to have to visit some things about you. You're going to have to do some self-evaluation. There's something that's not healthy in your environment. It could be an abusive environment. It could be obsession. It could be jealousy. It could be so many things. Anger. It could be all these things. And it could be you being in your head tied up. Because I got the Eight of Swords here. And then I got the Queen of Pentacles. Now this could be you. I mean, you're, you're thinking about money and finances. Maybe that's what has you tied up. Maybe... You're very attached to material things. I'm not sure. I don't know. Because the Ten of Swords is like an ending, a painful ending of something. Or maybe whatever it is that you're unhealth, unhealthily. <laughs> Whee! Whatever is unhealthy in your environment. Maybe this is going to be the end of that. You know, and you being all tied up in your head. Soon you will be fine now uh, because the Queen of Pentacles says focus on your home, family, success, and abundance. Okay, so just focus. But you got to focus on you first. Okay? So you got the devil, you got the, the Eight of Swords, and you got the Queen of Pentacles. Now, the Queen of Pentacles could be an energy in your environment. That could be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. All right? And she's also called the money manager. So then you got the six of swords. You're going to be moving to calmer waters really fast. And I got the nine of wands. I'm sorry. I got the six of <sighs> Back up. I got the eight of wands on top of the six of swords. I got the nine of wands. And then I got the eight of cups. Okay. 
So there's something that's going to come suddenly and you're going to move to calmer waters. Um, you're very resilient. You're very courageous. And you're just going to feel like walking away from everything and leaving everything behind. And you might just as well do that. It's you. It's your choice. You have free will. But you want to move to calmer waters. So you got the eight of, eight of wands, the nine of wands. And the Eight of Cups. <laughs> oh, so we got the Five of Pentacles here. On top of the Five of Pentacles, you got the Magician. Like I said, that feeling, that thorn in the side, that Five of Pentacles is just temporary. All right? Temporary. Because you're the Magician. You're going to need to do some meditation. Go within. Spend some quiet time. I got the four cups. You're going to need to do some thinking. And then I got the world card. So something has come full circle for you. Something you successfully attained. Okay. It's the beginning of a whole new cycle for you. So we got the magician. We got the four cups. And we got the world. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves and I will chat with you soon. Bye.